McAllister's big idea in the school year of 2010 and 11, Bonner Congress reps and the senior intern identified a need for McAllister's Bonner, more student input and leadership within our own Bonner program. Our big idea is um, getting a BLT going because we, we were inspired by another college. What does BLT stand for? Bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. Or? Or Bonner Leadership Team. On our leadership team, we got a great group of students who were excited about Bonner and want to make an impact in the program. Bonners from all different grades were nominated by their peers and then applied to be on the BLT. Working with Bonner staff, we outlined the responsibilities of the BLT, creating an application process for allocating community fund money, and then distributing it, holding our peers responsible for their B. Weber's logging. B. Weber's champs of the first year, and recognize Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> Just like Hercules, there's someone in our squad who went from zero to hero, and so the B. Weber Zero to Hero Award goes to Jessica. <laughs> Serving as class liaisons to increase communication between grades and other miscellaneous things that require student input. Bonners from different grades were nominated by their peers and then applied to be on the BLT. BLT was a way for me to get to know students of the other classes in the sophomore in the Bonner program. Um, and it helped me as a leadership role to develop my leadership skills. Overall, this big idea was greatly successful. It provided leadership opportunities to six Bonner students who served as class representatives, and we got a lot accomplished. We look forward to improving our BLT for next year. The BLT was tasked with the mission of coming up with a grant process for the Bonner Community Fund, funding which we had had last year but that wasn't as accessible to students. The BLT was successful in creating a process in which Bonner students could design and implement projects both on campus and within the community relating to the mission of Bonner. We provided money for three Bonners to serve a meal in a soup kitchen in Chicago over Thanksgiving break. These Bonners were able to learn more about issues of poverty in Chicago and bring back what they learned in a short presentation to their peers. We also helped fund Campus Camp Wallstone, which many Bonners and McAllister students were able to participate in to learn more about effective campaigning and advocacy skills. The BLT was also able to fund part of a training on campus for students to become certified HIV peer instructors. Applied for a grant to help bring a workshop to campus. Um, specifically, I contacted the Minnesota AIDS Project, which hosts um, HIV Red Cross certification workshops, and they were willing to bring one to campus. And the BLT provided the funding um, that covered a large portion of the registration fees for students. So. Not only could students attend this workshop and participate on their own campus, but much of the, the fees was subsidized for them as well. Um, so that workshop happened in April and was highly successful. We had students um, participate and become certified to work with organizations like Minnesota AIDS Project and to go out to, into the community and go into schools um, and teach about HIV and the risks to kids in schools. Um, and additionally, it allowed us to connect um, more closely with the Minnesota AIDS Project, foster a relationship with a really strong and successful nonprofit organization in the Twin Cities. Finally, one Bonner student created a youth science club at her site, and we were able to allocate community fund money to buy materials to do great experiments. These are just four examples of what the BLT was able to distribute funds for. The process established by the BLT gave Bonners experience in writing grant proposals as well as thinking about what more they can do to create change and take on leadership in projects. A key issue the BLT tried to address was the logging of hours to be Webers. Last year, let's just say McAllister Bonners weren't the best at submitting their hours, 
So it was something we really wanted to improve upon for this year. Team member took on responsibility for holding a certain number of peers accountable, but one great solution we came up with was having the Weber's Bonanzas. We reserved a computer lab three times a semester and made sure that there were a few BLT members there at that time to help honors um, with their CLAs and B Weber's hours. We sometimes even provided delicious snacks. I love B Weber's Bonanzas. It not only gives me an opportunity to um, check in with the rest of the Bonners, um, but it allows us to catch up on our lives and what's going on and also on our hour logs. Um, I would go in and I must admit that I was not a frequenter of B. Weber's. Um, so three times a semester I would go in and log all of my hours for that section and it was great because it was just done um, and I could be a B. Weber's superstar um, and also work on my CLAs and make sure that they were top notch and help figure out other um, teamwork and leadership um, things that could be put into B. Weber's too because everyone um, in Bonner is so involved with other areas and that should be noted as well. So BLT was great and um, I really appreciated all of their support. The BYU Hours Bonanza, that was the greatest thing in the world. And, you know, I got all my hours done. It was like the best and everyone was really supportive and really just, it was awesome.